One of the largest solar carports in the country is now right here in Connecticut. This morning, GE unveiled its new solar carport that can charge 13 electric cars. News 8's Ken Pierce is on the scene in Plainville, where they are powering the future. It kind of looks like a gas station, but really, this is something completely different. Instead of gasoline flowing through here, it's electric power to charge electric cars like this one. And not just any kind of electric power, this is electricity from the sun. It can charge six cars at a time underneath a roof covered in solar panels. Right now, it's just for employees at GE Energy's headquarters across the street, but this is just the beginning. Phase one of a project that we're doing, we're putting the solar carport in now, and phase two will be a new customer uh, center that's going to focus on all the technologies that we're developing right here in the state of Connecticut. Phase one was so big they actually brought out a marching band, and they brought out the governor to talk about the importance of finding alternate ways to power our cars. Our over-reliance uh, on a commodity, uh, petroleum, which uh, we only know of about 63 years worth uh, in the entire world, doesn't make any sense. Officials also highlighted what GE's investment means to Plainville, but mostly they hope that by switching on this carport, they'll also turn people on to how easy it can be to switch to electric cars. One of the big challenges for us has been how do we take this technology that we're building and make it relevant to people in their lifestyle. Uh, this is a product that really fits into people's lifestyle. They understand it. They understand why it's important for the economy, also for their own ecology. This is not only a nice perk for GE employees here in Plainville, but this also serves as a showcase for GE products because everything you see here is made by General Electric. On the scene in Plainville, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8. So would that kind of thing benefit you? Our poll question today, do you own an electric car? Choices are on your screen. Log on to WTNH.com. We'll have the results coming up on News 8 at 5.